to take care of it, the wife. What? It's not easy hearing voices all the time, especially when they don't speak very clearly. Sometimes I don't mind it, but all the time, it's more than I can bear. More than anyone can bear. I'll agree with you there. Did you call the press? I saw a strange car out front, all dirty and mean like the press. The hopper's been looking for a reason to crucify me again. The press? No, I hope. You're like, you Maybe if I had a bigger place, or a newer place, I wouldn't hear them so well. I don't mean to complain, but sometimes, when the voices go away, I hear a pounding in my head. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Ah! It's like a heartbeat, but more percussion. And maybe a dull triangle pinging off to one side. Ah, oh, that's where my insides come out. Feel the skin on my palm. Feels like the inside of my eye. It's all right, Ramon. I feel that sometimes too, that kind of pain. But pain can be good sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Besides, it's not real pain we're talking about anyway. Not like a finger pricked on a needle. The hardest pain is the pain of not knowing. Come, come. It's all relative, really. My father used to burn holes into my waist with his cigarette so I remember to lose weight there. Sounds effective. Yes, it was. <laughs> the electrolysis hurt more, though. I miss my widow's peak sometimes. You burned it! I burned it? Where were you? You should have been watching out for the food. It was your idea. You're the cook. Everyone says so. Let Margot do it. It tastes better when she does it. It's going to taste good. Don't! Like Say another word and I go out the back door. <laughs> Don't start doing that. It won't work on me no more. Stop crying. Look, I'm starting a new sancocho, but you better keep them out of the kitchen. Okie dokie. Thank 
calm me down anymore, boy. The best six inches I'll see tonight. <laughs> He's not that bad for an older man. It's just, the only thing is he does remind me of my father, and that can get in the way. It was exciting the first time, but it makes me nervous now. Everything makes me nervous. This costume makes me nervous. I'm not a redhead in my soul. If you would just let me play a blonde, I'd feel so much better. Blondes are always in a party mood. girls lie. Too bad. I was looking forward to it. Thank you, thank you. It's so important to have the admiration of your peers. I love you all. I just wanted to say thank you, and I am so proud to be here in front of you fine servicemen. And don't worry, I'll show you my legs later. And to those of you working from home, buy more war bonds! He doesn't use this too often, I guess, even though he loves it. it smells kind of salty. <laughs> More like tears. <laughs> Maybe he keeps it so he won't forget his name. Better than a loofah. <laughs> hey, look at the water. Cool. <sighs> hey, I love my new hairpiece. They say you can even swim with it. Touch it. Even though it's wet, it won't come off. Go ahead. Touch it. See? anyway. What was she doing at the beach? 
cook. Thank you very much. It's almost ready. You're quiet and dignified when you cook. I used to be like that. But you just had a baby girl, didn't you? I read about it. It's hard to have secrets for someone like me. She's very beautiful. I think she looks like him, but everyone says she looks just like me. I was glad that she was healthy. Children need to be protected, you know, from things. You're not happy being a cook, are you? I don't mind cooking. It's this place that's getting on my nerves. Where are you from? New York. Oh, New York's a great town. I spent last fall there. Even wrote a song about it. Really? Yes. It goes something like this. There's a bite in the air, and it's filled with despair. Cause it's autumn in New York, and you're not here. Here beside me, watching leaves turn into flame. Here to kiss <coughs> me when my heart fills up with shame. It's all so hard, knowing that you are so far. But Daddy, I know, we'll meet again upon a star. <coughs> Beautiful. You must really love him, your father. Yes. Your voice is different from when I've seen you in the movies. Yes, well, they don't like those deep Spanish voices very much. I'll go find the others. Those two can get up to all kinds of mischief. Everybody's going to be dressed like this. Of course. It's the latest thing. <coughs> Men only, dressed like famous women. It's an offshoot of that male liberation thing. Some people like to beat drums. Others dress up. <coughs> Same difference. I feel stupid. But it is kind of fun. There you go. It is going to be a lot of fun. Nothing to be scared of. What's the most scared you've ever been? I had to kick a girl's ass once. That was pretty <laughs> terrifying. Was she big? No. Sweet and gentle. And everybody loved her. But she would never talk to me. I tried so many times to get her to talk, and she just looked at me with cold eyes. Everybody else saw this sweetness except for me. I couldn't get near it. I couldn't touch it. I couldn't touch her. So I had to kick her ass, and I knew everybody else would hate me for it. But what could I do? Let her get away with it? With humiliating me? <laughs> no way. I had to kick her ass, and I had to pay the consequences. Are my lip lines straight? Yes. Yeah. My scene? Perfect. So why was that scary? Because I didn't know what would happen to me if I did it. But it was worth it, because I loved the way my foot felt on her ass. I just wish I could have put it up inside her. That would have been really worthwhile. Why do you say so many things you don't really mean? If I only said things I mean, I'd have nothing to say. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm going to miss them now they're gone. Stop it. Don't you think I mean that? I'm more compassionate than you think, Fifi. In fact, I am the most compassionate person I know. I didn't make her suffer like you would have. Don't. You do it. You make it. You, you, you bitch her off. I can't stand that screaming. Make the screaming stop so I have to make it stop. But it didn't work, did it, Ephraim? And you still hear it, don't you? You make me sick. I'll wait for you outside. So what did you find? Any money? He loves her. Her things are all over his room. Who are you talking about? Ramon! He loves Rita. He must be having an affair. No, I just talked to her. She's got a little baby at home with that big guy. She doesn't need anybody else. She's very happy. She told me so. You're so naive, Margot. People have affairs all the time here. It's cultural. 
paintings are cultural. Not little chingas-lingas with people you ain't married to. Sometimes you just marry the wrong person. And then you meet the person you were meant to be with and it's too late. So you make do with the occasional night in an ever-changing town where no one knows your name and only the soiled sheets remain to prove that you had love together. And those get washed away. We are definitely going back to New York, Lolly. This place is making you cuckoo. Everything you say now sounds like a bad movie. That's no way to live. You're going back, not me. We'll see. And when did you get so friendly with Rita? I thought you hated movie stars. I don't hate them. I just don't have time for them. There are too many other things to think about. And anyways, she's different. She's one of the nice ones. She came and talked to me. I didn't go acting like a dog like you do, saying, please talk to me. I'll lick your face if you do. That man is not going to fall in love with you, Lolly. I'll bring him the food. That's the truth, you hear me? You don't count for nothing here. Do you hear me? No! Gosh! So, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, you guys are beginning to run together. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and lucky number twelve. I wonder if any of you guys knew each other before this. Before you were snubbed out on my wall. <laughs> my wall! Nice sound of that. She taught me how to count, and he taught me what counts. <laughs> I think comedy would have been my true calling. It's all in the timing. What's taking so long? Did you hear that? The screaming? Yes, I thought you finished. I don't hear a thing. So I can get those crazy wheel couples. I bet people faint from looking at those for too long. Yeah, I bet you're right. <laughs> I could almost faint right now. Just 
from hearing your noise. Wish yourself somewhere. Think of something else. Angry protests have erupted throughout Argentina in reaction to this Hollywood film. Sure, sugar. Now, Pablo Cerro. Oh, yes, Lucero, magnificent house. This from our offices in once sunny Argentina. Angry mobs burned out all movie theaters showing only American films to protest the opening of They Met in Argentina, a gay romp in the Pampas starring America's darling Maureen O'Hara as the devilish native paramour of our delightful Buddy Epson. No more movies will be filmed here until these mad protests stop. Studio chiefs say, we just wanted to make a good movie. Maureen is dazzling. We don't get it. Natives say, O'Hara, go to home. Daryl Zan put 40,000 extra dollars into Down Argentine Way to reshoot scenes of local customs to pacify the mobs. Zanik says, after the Zoot Suit riots of last year, we walked to be accurate. Many sailors and others were injured in that shameful incident. Let's hope it doesn't happen again, because if it does, I'm afraid the studios will be saying, Goodbye, Argentina! On the home front, there were protests too. Lupe Spitfire Velez says, Chi, don't even speak Spanish. That crazy Lupe. But let's speak to a native Argentine. What's all this about? Oh, sorry. English, you hobla. Oh, movies. You like movies? I fell in love for the first time in a movie theater. Oh, cut. This guy's not interesting. Let's go find a burn victim. My mother took me to see a film starring Carlos Gardel. What a beautiful man. Before I saw that movie, I didn't think I'd ever find anyone to love. I was already seven, and still no crushes or fast heartbeats. Mommy loved him, too. I wanted her to find him and marry him, so at least he'd be in the family. And then one day, when she, when she had died and I was old enough, I could marry him, too. Those songs he wrote and sang were like the songs of angels. Her eyes closed. She died in my arms. What could be more romantic? The most important thing is the flame. I like the blue in the orange. The blue is the true heat. The heat from my fingertips. A hot lick of flame is better than sex. It's better than anything. A sweet burn. And the smell of oh. It smells like dying roses in the trunk of a dead tree. After Poppy killed that man, he wanted to meet God. He went to the, to the forest of my town to find him, in the trees. And he saw the face of God the Father in a dead tree. Each day until the day he died, the face of God appeared to him, and each day, slowly, he disappeared from me. After he found God, my father wouldn't speak to me. You wouldn't even look at me. His only son. That was my first fire. A candle in the night in that forest which I dropped from my small hands. And the forest disappeared too. I didn't know my father was in the forest that night. But everybody dies, right, of something. La bebida es lo que tu boca está, el secreto de mi amor. Cuando la noche llegó, mi mamá de azul.
one later. No! And no one knows that better than me! And what are you doing to your fellow man? My cousin's always late, but Lupi has no excuse. Aren't you having a good time? It's just the pressure of waiting. I hate it. Like phone calls from your agent that never come. Agents are like bad parents. You hate them most of the time, but once they tell you you're wonderful, you can't live without them. I wouldn't be who I am today without my agent. He made me. Your mama made you. You know what I mean. Fortunately, yes. You've changed your clothes, girls. Very cute. Ravishing. Thanks. Uh, I, my sister and I have a new dance routine we'd like to show you uh, later. I told you all your girls. No entertainment. We get enough of that out there. Let them dance, Ramon. What are we going to do? Yes, I like a little show. My last film was grueling. That Gene Kelly is a madman. He never stops. I'm still exhausted from it. I don't think people who cook should dance. It's too different one from the other. I like to people I like the people I see dancing not to cook. That way I know who I can ask for a dance. I would never dance with a cook. <laughs> Maybe they'll be produced with this part. A good screenplay is always marketable. Wait. 
Why? It's about to start. It started years ago. The lies, I mean. I know what you mean. <coughs> They're lying there in the carpets will be ruined, but we'll get new carpets. Don't worry. We have to have fun tonight. Everybody has to see us having fun. It'll help when the time comes. I'm not you. I know. You're Dolores Del Rio, screen sign, seen about town with Orson Welles and others. And beautiful. What movies were you in? Yeah, I don't remember. Remember, we went over it. Half the fun is being convincing. You want to be an actor, don't you? This is just the biggest role you've ever got. I did almost get that guest spot on The Next Generation. Sure you did. You gave a great audition. I helped you, remember? We got the sides, and I played the Bajoran Beauty Calyx, and you were Lieutenant Sanchez. <laughs> that was a great script. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot go back with you. But Lieutenant Sanchez, why? Our planets are in sync now. We could be happy. Calyx, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm dying. No! Yes! I have a polyp on my brain that's slowly driving me mad. I must go where I can harm no one. The first phase is violent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt you. I would rather die. You mustn't, I can't go on alone. I must return to my pod and fly into the ionic storm field. I won't go on without you. Yes, you must, you must go on for both of us. One last kiss, sweet Calyx. Let's do that part again. I was good, huh? I wonder why I didn't get the part. You should have gotten Dad to give them a call. He always manages to get things done. I wanted to do it myself, but by myself. By any means necessary. Nothing is too much to ask of others or too little to ask of yourself. I hate that book. He read it to us at least once a week. The Salesman's Bible. <laughs> I never wanted to be a salesman. I wanted to be a model, or an actor, whatever, something creative. You could be anything you want to be now. That's right. I could make myself up or recreate in any form. Like that guy on The Next Generation. I'm a mark. <laughs> That's why I didn't get that part. <laughs> I auditioned with the wrong entity. <laughs> Why is it that it's always people with names like Sanchez that die in the future? Like that chick with the muscles and aliens too? Man, was she. Ah, but ice in the end? Dark people never survive. Like on The Equalizer. I hated that show. Too many Spanish women chasing ambulances screaming, Adios mio, mi hijo, papacito, there's somebody to kill him. Since when do you care about the Spanish women? Since I put on this dress. Makes me feel different. Makes me feel very. Lupe, do you know what I mean? I think I'm ready now. Where is that little man stealer? I'll bite off her head if he loops. People think I am quiet and dignified, but I don't let people get away with things. Just tell me. I will be at your side. You can count yourself over me. Weight? 
He was a fool to leave you, Dolores. I just hope that I can make him happy. Yes. Well, I can't argue that. It's all very old to me now. Congratulations. <coughs> Thank you. Already? He left her already? She has a hard time keeping them around, doesn't she? That stupid Frenchman. Doesn't he have any morals at all? The French are so peculiar that way. You think I can't get your stocking and broth off my back? I'm hanging his baby like bastard. And he just said, don't kill it. And if he ain't gonna have no mother, maybe I do it. Maybe I kill me too. Babies need a mother. Stop talking nonsense. Have some wine. Yes. <laughs> what I need is some artificial perspiration. But I don't got no volunteers. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'll take some wine. Oh, thank you, darling. Sorry, but I've been so... We know. Three. I hope you have enough wine for me, Ramon. Always. You can count on your friends, Miha. So, you got what I do? How do you like working for the great Novaro? He's got an eye for beautiful women, huh? She's shy type? She's shy, but not me. I'm bold and romantic. I sing and dance, too. And how nice for you. Is there more wine? Margo, would you mind? Of course not. I'm the shy type, Gabrona. <laughs> Shall we? Surveys they glisten every now and then, this 
cycle of your saliva. As your dung moves across them, keeping them moist for the next school day's tale. <laughs> You're really something. I know. Lally calls me a pit. She read it in some novel. She's always reading novels. You're not a Nazi, are you? No, I'm Puerto Rican. I know. You told me that part. You were born in the Rio Piedras in a small brown house. Then you had a dog named Fifi. Before he got run over by an army chief. And then you hated all Americans until you moved to New York and grew to love it. Why do you think I might be a Nazi? Oh. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, ha ha. Should we go back in now? That wine's getting very warm. Mustn't have that. Every honeybee, nothing at Deals with jealousy. When they see you out with me, your confection goodness knows. So I sure know. Pardon me, suckle rose. Sure, I am just select of my Don't buy sugar. You just have to touch my cup, oh, you're my sugar. So much sweeter when you stir it up, oh, yes, so much better. More wine. What are you doing? Stanislavski. Slavsky. Isn't it wonderful? We are trying to be Lupe, so we can figure out how to cheer her up. <laughs> it's not working. Yes, it is! <laughs> I mean, it is! I have it all figured out. Finally, can we eat now? Good. Yes, yes Mr. Navarro. When can we go home? Isn't this fun? So, what were you two talking so much about? You wouldn't understand. That's the pity of you, Brenda. I don't need your pity, Marlena. Nobody needs pity. I need food. My agent doesn't let me eat. If I could have one thing in the world, it'd be the ability to eat without gaining weight. Oh, that would be marvelous. Stupendous. I never gain weight. I eat, eat, eat like a little pig. And Still sleep. What can I do? <laughs> Get pregnant. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Lupe. I'm sorry. It's just an expression. And look at what you've done. She's good. Everyone has babies, Lupe. It's no big deal. <laughs> Money? Yes, of course. 
It's the war. Everyone's hurting from it. Not me. They can't get enough. Mexicans speak bad as elephants. Mexicans speak bad out the West. Mexican speak bad shows how stupid she is. I hate those movies. Me too. A travesty. Ridiculous. Insane. Enough already. Like you need 
said the gun wasn't real. That's what she said. Don't worry. I'll keep working here. For you, Ramon. For you, I'd do anything, be anything. I tried that, and believe me, it's not worth it, honey. He doesn't love you. He doesn't even love me. Ramon is in love with a ghost, aren't you, Pucci? What is it you hear in your head, hmm? Words of love, all in a language you don't understand. Why are you doing this to me? I've been so good to you. You can love me. I can be a ghost, too. She doesn't deserve you like I do. You've been inside of me for a long time now. <coughs> Sin vergüenza. Don't be a stupid. I'm glad Papi isn't alive to see this. Me, too. Get out of my house! Prove you do anything. Use mine. More appropriate for a lady. What do you mean? Point it at somebody and shoot! Can you do that? <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Guns are so direct. Oh my goodness! I knew there was something funny to happen here. Lottie, you see, I was right. <coughs> you were outside my house this morning, weren't you? I don't know why I didn't notice it before. People only see what they want to see. You have to be ready for the truth or else it stays hidden inside you, waiting for the next alarm to go off in your heart. You have to learn to listen. Don't listen to these weird people, Lolly. There's nothing real about them. Like this cold mansion in the desert. That's not right. People shouldn't live like I this. I know, Marco. I know who I am now. <coughs> Someone Ramon can't ever love. But what I don't know is if this gun is real or not. I'd like to think that it is. This is the part I see in my dreams. That's it, honey. Don't be afraid. What kind of monster are you? I'm not afraid to die. Not for you, Ramon. In my dreams, you always stop me. This isn't one of your crazy movies, Lolly. Put that down and let's go home. Lottie, please! Home is what I'm scared of! How come you don't know that, Margo? There's a lot I don't understand. I'm sorry. Please, put that <coughs> thing down. You don't gotta prove nothing to nobody. I can't believe this. Don't! It tastes like the ocean. Weird. 
Strange, unusual. Not me. I mean, I speak it, but I'm no native. I think so less of you. Two souls. Maybe it's a joke. They can't be dead, not in my house. They can't, little birds. Little birds. I have a daughter to go home to. I'm sorry, Ramon. And you thought I was just a chauffeur. <laughs> you see, that's the problem with certain roles. You can only play them for so long, and then you begin to forget your lines. Did you hear me? Ephraim. Did you hear me? It doesn't smell bad like I thought it would smell. Hut smells like dirt, like soy honey. Not nasty like garbage, but like, like the bottom of an overturned tree. Like after an earthquake, its roots still alive. You might think it could grow again, even with its trunk torn up. Because of that smell. And it will, because it needs so many seeds. are like stars. They always spend their last living moments falling. 